All right, guys, so kind of spur of the moment thing here. Sorry, it's so windy, it looks like it might storm. Okay, so uh, I haven't really made a video on it, but I sold my third gen Dodge. I, I was just tired of uh, the issues I was having with it. You know, there's issues with the wiring, like the, the TIPM thing. I fixed that the best I could, and it was just like every time I drove it, something else was causing a problem, and I, I was just over it. I was over it. So I've been really having a dilemma on what I want to do. Uh, when I was in Texas, uh, my buddy Zach and then my buddy Alex, they both have 7.3 diesels on like 24 inch semi truck wheels. They look pimp as heck. I rode in them. They felt solid. They're still older. Like I'm really having like this huge desire for something newer. I've never had anything newer than like an 06. So like part of me really, really wants like a 2014, 2015 truck that's like new and Bluetooth and like silent inside and, and just works and I don't have to worry about it. The problem with that is like a 6.7 diesel Ford is so expensive. They are so expensive. And you really need a 2015 and up and it's like really 30 grand to get one with decently low mileage. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna finance one. I, I'm not willing to do that. There's no reason to finance a truck for me in the position that I'm in. It, it's just not worth it. I don't wanna make a truck payment. I don't wanna have to worry about it. So it, it's just not something I wanna do. So it's just a very tough decision. Long story short. Um, so yeah, I've been conflicted on getting a gas truck, selling both my trailers, getting a nice aluminum tilt open trailer or like a drop trailer or something like that, just a nice open trailer, running a gas truck and just optimizing it the best I can or buying a 6.7 Ford or buying something like Zach and Alex's truck, a 7.3 because it's, an old, it's old enough to where it should be super reliable, should be super simple, but it is older so you don't get the nice new amenities. However, scan in the marketplace. I've been looking for the past three days since I sold my truck, and I found a 7.3 crew cab, dually, two-wheel drive on semi wheels, and it seemed relatively close. So I'm talking to the guy, he sends me the address, six minutes away. Dude lives six minutes from my house, two miles. So, uh, you know, what, what, nothing left to do it but to do it or something? I don't know, it doesn't make any, any sense at all, but it's it's two miles, like we might as well go check it out. So. We're gonna take El Cefe. A lot of you have been asking about El Cefe. El Cefe is still alive and well, just doing daily things, driving to get groceries, especially now that the truck's gone. This is all we got to daily drive. So I'm gonna whip this thing over there and go check this truck out. The nice thing about this is the fact that since it's so close, um, it's it's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't have any pressure on me. I don't, don't feel like, oh, like I'm making this long drive, like I'm committed to buying this, taking the cash with me, gonna buy it. Like, I don't have the cash on me, I, you know, it's in the bank, I, I'm just gonna go look at it. And if I really like it, maybe we'll buy it tomorrow or something, you know? But for, for now, we're just gonna go look at it because it's so close. So it's kind of like the optimal scenario because normally buying a truck, I, I feel like I have to decide and then I'm pretty committed when I get there and it's hard for me to want to walk away and it's hard for me to film and stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna try to film it the road for our long six minute drive over there. <laughs> guys so i did a terrible job at filming like the interaction of looking at the truck and whatnot i i just always do that i always do a terrible job but anyway we got there went to look at it like i said wasn't really in the market for one of these i thought about it while i was in texas i looked i couldn't really find anything and then this one popped up while i was looking for six seven trucks which is what i really wanted and uh we went and looked at it i was like why not a truck i'd be willing to live with right so anyway Go look at it. I didn't test drive it just because, you know, I was like, I don't want to waste this guy's time. Like, I just want to look at it and see what I think. And then if I really want it, I'll come back, test drive it, do thorough tests. So anyway, looked at it. Dude was super cool. You know, he like went out of his way to show me this dent in the fender that you can't really see unless you look at it from just the right angle. We we're looking at it under it in the grass. And he's like, here, pull it out onto the road so you guys can see better. It's a really, really nice, legit guy. So anyway, looked at it, went to Walmart, did our other stuff, and then thought about it. And I was like, man... I'm really leaning towards buying that truck like it looks sweet it's in really good shape like you know it's it is what it is so anyway we went back test drove it everything and then i wanted to do all that that day and then sleep on it and then go buy it in the morning if i was still sure so lo and behold we went and bought it in the morning so this is it it is a 1999 f350 73 power stroke 
Don't know what I'm doing with my fingers, but. <laughs> so the, it's, a, it's an early 99, so it does have the smaller turbo. The late 99's got a bigger turbo um, up till 2000. So I think 01 is when they switched. Um, they had forged internals, whereas the like 01, 02, yeah, 0102 didn't. They had powdered metal internals. So the forged internals are what you want. Um, they're stronger. Obviously, we're not going to put a ton of power to it. We're not like drag racing it or anything. But it is nice to have the better internals and stuff like that. Ah, peace of mind kind of thing. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I don't know. It makes me feel better about it at least. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny, this truck, because it, it's kind of the opposite direction of what I intended on going. You know, I was looking at trying to get a 6.7 truck and then there was so much money I you know was thinking about getting a newer gas truck and then this truck popped up and I just like you know especially after looking at it like I couldn't I couldn't pass it up I really couldn't I I love love the way this looks I hooked it up to my trailer yesterday and we drove the trailer around a couple miles the ball I can't really show you because I've got this uh spreader from my girlfriend's farm in here that I got to weld back together but the ball was like like flush mounted with the bed and with my gooseneck it like basically like sits on the bed itself and can't really articulate and didn't have safety chains and it was just kind of a mess and on top of that with my gooseneck adjusted all the way down on the trailer the trailer front was still too low and it was just kind of it was kind of a mess so I didn't go very far um but let me show you a picture of what it looked like hooked up to the trailer because it was like perfect ride height once it squatted down yeah looks freaking sick I absolutely love the way this truck looks uh so let's start with the outside so, obviously, 99 F350. It's got a newer Super Duty tailgate with a step that comes out and whatever, but stock bed. It's got a 24 inch freaking Alcoa semi wheels, eight to 10 lug adapters, all that good hotness. I absolutely love these dualies on 24s, man. They look so freaking pimp. The other nice thing is I was looking when I was riding in Zacks and stuff, really thinking about getting one, I was like, I worked really fine with stock trucks. And with a stock truck, you gotta do a lot to make it look like this, um, because you gotta do the wheels and the adapters and all that stuff, which is like three grand plus tires. Um, but then on top of that, this has a 6.0 front end on it, which is what Zach and Alex's truck have on it. Much better looking front end with the one piece headlights, the individual grill, the nicer newer bumper. So it's got all that stuff. It's got the chin spoiler. It's got the cow hood. Um, this is one of those I could take it or leave it. Like I definitely am not going to go through the trouble to take it off and put a stock hood back on, but I don't think I would put it on. I wouldn't go through the trouble to buy one and put it on, but I don't hate it. I don't love it. It, it looks fine. I think it looks kind of mean. It separates it a little bit, but I mean, just look at this thing. Just the way it looks is so good. Uh, I, I absolutely am in love with the way it looks. It definitely needs tow mirrors. Um, I, when we drove it with the trailer, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I could not see shit. So we definitely need to get tow mirrors for it. Um, it does have like kind of a slight shake at speed, which is kind of annoying, um, but it's part of the bigger wheels and tires. There's some options to rectify that that I might try out. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's kind of go over the truck. I showed you guys the outside. Spike lugs, all that good good jazzy. It's definitely dirty, um, but there's like one ding here and a slight ding in the fender, like I told you guys about, nothing crazy. Interior is very nice. Uh, the seats were redone in this two-tone. Another thing, take it or leave it, probably prefer not to have the two-tone, but it doesn't look bad either. Um, and it's nice that they're in perfect condition and redone. It's got an Alpine head unit with Bluetooth and stuff, really nice speakers and amp and stuff and subs. The back seats are matched to the front. So they're also two-tone. The interior of the truck is very, very nice. There's not a single crack or issue with it at all. It is all very nice. The AC works, the windows work, power locks work, like everything works in here. Everything is, is solid. 
Um, so very nice inside, really happy with that. It's got tents, it's got freaking cab lights. I love cab lights. Overall, the truck is dope. The biggest problem I have with this truck and the thing that conflicted me on buying it, the, the power issue, because I have my Duramax the longest and that thing made good power being bone stock. You know, intake tuner exhaust would have made another 100 horsepower or so. And then I had the Dodge, which had all that. And man, that thing was a powerhouse. Even on just the tow tune, which is like 30 horsepower, the thing was a ripper. It towed my trailer at 75, 80, no problem, up and down hills. Like, it was great. It had a bunch of other little issues and annoyances um, because of what it was. But power-wise, it had it there. It had it. And it was a newer truck. And I feel like the, pro the problem with this truck and these trucks is... The difference between like a late 90s, like 2000, 2001 truck and like a 2006 truck, in my opinion, is like huge. Like 2006 trucks, the engines got much quieter, much smoother. They're much more refined and they started trying to make trucks like less of tools and more of like a commodity. And then the difference between like an 06 and a 2012 truck to me isn't as big as like a 2000 to 2006 truck. So, you know, the 7.3 is all reliable, but it is a dinosaur. I mean, it's, let's pop the hood. It's, uh, you know, it's not a very smooth running engine, not a very powerful engine. Um, and that is my biggest concern because I, like I said, I can't show you the ball, but I'm, I'm gonna have basically have to put a gooseneck, like buy a gooseneck, put it in it just to really see how it tows my trailer, you know? And it might be horrible, you know? It might, it might struggle to do 65 with my trailer loaded down. It might do 80, no problem. You know, I don't really know. Um, when we towed it empty, it was on the stock tune. So I figured out how to put the tow tune Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. I figured out how to put the tow tune on it, put the tow tune on it. So we're going to go drive it. we got to go to the dump. So I'll bring you guys along with me for that, and we'll kind of see how it drives up the tow tune. Uh, but yeah, underneath, uh, clean, not really any leaks. It's not dripping anything. Oh, I think we got, is that maybe a slit in the coupler? I think it might have a boost leak just by how much boost it builds and the way it builds boost. It feels like it might have a boost leak, which if it has a boost leak, that would explain why it feels so underpowered. But it's hard to say because like I know these trucks are underpowered to begin with. So like I, I don't really have much to compare it to besides like a truck that's for sure more powerful, right? So anyway, all in all, under the, under the hood, uh, nothing to worry about. Everything looks good. Um, you know, no blow by, we checked all that. Trans fluids, clean and clear. Uh, no mixing in the coolant, like, it's hot. Sorry guys, it's hot, I'm pouring sweat right now. I live in Florida, I wear jeans, like an idiot. It's hot, okay, anyway, off topic. But yeah, intake exhaust tuner is what this truck has, like every other freaking diesel truck ever, it seems like. Um, and all in all, it's good. I mean, AC works, it doesn't get hot. I haven't really, like I said, I haven't really towed towed with it. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the rundown on her. Definitely a really, really nice looking truck. Looks so sick hooked up to the trailer. Um, definitely like uh, something that's been goals looks wise. I've always wanted a, du a dually on semi wheels for as long as I can remember since the first time I saw a dually on semi wheels. And like I said, seeing Zach's and Alex's that day it was funny. We pulled up to Alex's house. We stayed the night there and we first got into Texas and they both had their trucks parked in front of the house, like backed up to each other. They both look like this, uh, except a little nicer. And uh, anyway, it just looks so pimp. And I was like, oh man, that is goals. And I was having issues with the Dodge and I was like, getting a 7.3 and then I, I changed my mind a lot as you guys may know um I still don't know so anyway uh like I said finally figured out how to put the toe tune on it put the toe tune on it let's go take it for a drive to the dump see how it is maybe if we have time we'll hook up to the trailer um to Ben's open trailer and go tow that around and see how it is obviously it's a lot wider than what my setup's going to be but it'll give us kind of an idea if it's struggling to pull that comfortably then it's probably going to struggle to pull my trailer comfortably so anyway let's give it a shot Let's see what happens. I've always had Cummins for the most part, as far as older diesels go, and these 7.3s do not like to start as good as the Cummins do. This one starts up fine, but the old Cummins definitely takes it as far as fast starting department. All right, so before I fill this up, I'll just show you guys the ball so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's two and five sixteenths, but it's you can see where my trailer scuffed the bed. It just I don't know if like I need like a ball with a longer shank that sits up higher but like I said anyway with the trailer hooked up here once the truck squats down and that's not even loaded up the front of the trailer is a little too low it's uh definitely like a decent bit lower than the back like it's it's pretty nose down so w if we put a bolt in one that's up like three four inches should work out perfect so anyway I'm gonna load all this crap up and head to the dump whoop, whoop. Let's 
dry, we're loaded up. Hopefully nothing comes flying out of the truck like it seems to always do when I go to the dump, no matter how hard I try to make sure it doesn't. The nice thing about this SCT tuner is I can hook up to it and see my boost. I, I mean, I can see pretty much anything that the engine monitors, but I want to check the boost and, you know, just see what kind of uh, boost it's making, cruise it around, bar throttle, wide open throttle, etc. Loaded. Let's go. One thing that's weird about this truck that also makes it feel more sluggish than it is is like the pedal doesn't really do anything for a little bit and then it like you get to a point where it actually starts working so it just feels like so sluggish sometimes because you're like uh come on are we gonna go we're gonna go there we go now we're going seats are comfy the only complaint i have about the seat is they're like a little narrower than like i'm used to and uh you just kind of feel like you're gonna slide like especially with it being like leather feel like you're gonna slide out of the seat. There's a lot of room between this door and the seat, which is kind of nice, um, but it is kind of weird, not used to it. Definitely feels like a man's truck. You don't feel like a, like a city slicker. Feels good with the tow tune. It's like six pounds of boost at like, quarter throttle or so. One funny thing about these trucks too is the engines are so freaking loud. It sounds like it's blowing up the whole time. I don't really want to get on it hard until we're coming back from the dump because, you know, I want to wait till the oil temps and engine temps are up to temp. You can kind of see the shake. It's really, I mean, it just kind of depends on the road you're on. So whether or not it's noticeable. Feels better, honestly, with some stuff in the bag. All right, done with the dump. <laughs> I will say it's nice having a two-wheel drive truck for once where the bed isn't so freaking high that you can't really climb up in there. And then having the little step on the tailgate when you're taking heavy stuff in and out, also super handy. Definitely like, definitely like this truck. Sounds cool, looks kind of, the looks are like the biggest thing for me. So we'll get out on the road here, we'll give her a good, uh, I don't know, half throttle, three quarter throttle pull. Alright, full throttle. Boys, out here. This is a big rig video CB <laughs> interview number 187. Oh, we didn't bring the walkie talkies. We've got Taylor Ray out here. <clears throat> He's gonna tell us about his 7.3 power stroke. All right, so we've got Ben's open trailer hooked up, which is a 20 foot. It's got a winch and a box and whatever. The Z is probably like 33, 3400 pounds. I would guess combined, I would say six grand is like a reasonable number. So, uh a little over half what my trailer should weigh. So if it pulls this like it ain't nothing, it'd probably be all right with my trailer. It felt fine coming up the hill. It feels the same as it does with no trailer. So we'll see. Get that there truck strapped down good. Or car. I don't know. I thought this was a CB interview, buddy. <laughs> You're acting like the truckers that don't say anything. Dude, your car's on there. Made it all the way back from Tampa. All right, it should be all right then. Neighbor Al likes the truck, so that's really important. Gotta make sure Neighbor Al likes what we're rolling. Just going out of here with the old gooseneck. These mirrors are useless. Yeah. They look useless. Dude, I'm surprised. 
surprised it doesn't have tow mirrors. Yeah, I don't understand why it doesn't. Yeah, barely, barely on the throttle. AC's at about 57 degrees. The AC's pretty solid. It's like everything though, when you're sitting at a stoplight, it's not the best. She's rolling. I mean, that was only like quarter throttle. Like quarter, like half a couple of times just to see how it like got into boost. Yeah, so I mean, I definitely think it has a boost leak. So repairing that would probably help things a little bit. I mean, it's doing completely fine. Florida weather, boys. Raining every day. It's literally sunny ahead of us. Is that? Yeah. It's literally like completely yeah. clear skies in front of us. guys well that pretty much concludes our tow test of the old 7.3 like i said we did tow my other trailer with it empty and it was really hard to tell just because i was worried about the ball messing stuff up and the plug kept coming undone so we'd not have trailer brakes i didn't even have a trailer brake controller so we got to figure that out definitely need trailer brakes towing that thing but yeah so i mean it towed fine with the open trailer it is a little slow again i don't know if it has a boost leak i would assume so based on what kind of boost it makes versus what it sh I think it should make. I think it's supposed to make 20 to 25 pounds. It's making like 15 max. So, you know, if you guys have any input on that, let me know. Like I said, I think a couple of the couplers might have some slits in them. We might need to replace those and that might be it. You know, could be worse, could be easier. I don't know. I don't know that we're going to have to figure out, but really th the main test is going to be hooking up to the enclosed and loading it down and going on a trip down to Orlando. There's some decent sized hills going through Claremont. You know, it, it's not the Rocky Mountains, but in my experience towing out to Texas and towing up to like Pennsylvania via 95, um, that's about as big as the hills get uh, on the highway, you know, is the hills we'll encounter there. So that'll be a really good test of if this truck's gonna be able to comfortably tow my trailer and we're gonna be able to maintain highway speeds or if it's gonna be one of those like losing 20 miles an hour up the hill and, and stressfully, you know, white knuckling it all the time because if it is, you know, if I was staying local in Florida, like that would be fine. Like that wouldn't bother me at all. You know, three hour trip max, not a big deal. But when, when it comes to these Texas trips, you know, it's 15 to 20 hours. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into getting ready to leave, setting the prep in the car, whatever. Then 15 to 20 hours of me driving straight myself and then get there, drive all weekend, compete. You know, there's a lot going on then and then hop in the truck and drive 15, 20 hours back. So, you know, if it's a really stressful set rig to drive, it just is going to make the trip that much harder. You know, I want it to be as easy as possible, but you know, I can't have my cake and eat it too. I want an older truck that is going to be more reliable and it's going to be simpler and easier to repair and cheaper to repair um, if the time comes, if things break. So, you know, that is the trade-off. I just need to see how big that trade-off is. I need to see if it's okay and we just don't have all the power in the world or if it's going to really struggle with my trailer so we'll have to figure that out we'll have to put a gooseneck in it brake controller on it um and go drive it and you know worst case we can sell it it's not a big deal i definitely think we can get our money back out of it um but you know I, like i said i love the way it looks it is such a pimp truck man i feel like such a pimp just walking up to this thing and seeing it hooked up to my trailer it looks even better because the ride heights down and I absolutely love it. I love like pretty much everything about this truck. I'm just hoping it has the power to comfortably tow my trailer. That is gonna be the biggest question mark here um, and whether or not we're gonna be able to keep it. But looks department and all that, she is a winner. Ooh, 
Whew, she looks snazzy. So, like I said, if you guys have any input, uh, I'd love to hear it. If you have any knowledge on these 7.3s and, you know, do I have a boost leak at 15 pounds of the toe tune on it? Is the SCT tuner good enough or should I get the Hydro? A lot of people recommended that and, uh, you know, all that stuff. I'd love to hear any input you guys have. It is much appreciated. But on top of that, let me know what you guys think. Well, how do you feel about the truck? Is it worth dealing with the old slow motor to have the pimpness or not and uh cost and all that I'm, I'm just really curious what you guys think about it too because like i said it's been a dilemma for me pulled the trigger on this one but still not dead set on whether we're keeping it or not so let me know what you guys think but that's gonna be it for this video we got a lot coming up this week we got to fix the miata we got to pull the motor on the rx7 we got to get this thing ready for for texas in a couple weeks we got a lot going on i'll see you guys then thanks for watching thanks for subscribing a uh, goodbye